Hello guys, welcome to All Access Media. Today we're going to be talking about Lil Baby and his now ex-girlfriend Jada. We all know that they've been dating for a while. Lil Baby even came out with a song Close Friends for Jada. Anyways, they broke up because Lil Baby basically went on this interview saying how he didn't love the person he was in a relationship with. He was like, yeah, I might love you or some, I might if with you, but I don't love you. So basically they broke up because of that and Jada went on in Twitter to tweet about it. Somebody asked Jada, could you explain? And she said, explain what? Y'all heard the man clear. And if you look at the video, you can understand what she was talking about. He said what he said. There's no need for me to explain it. Because basically, he put it out there and he said what he said. Because I, I knew this one, this one partner of mine when I was growing up. You, he used to always tell me love was for suckers. When in your life did love become a part of your life and you started respecting it when you're looking at a woman and there's love and not just fucking abroad and not just... When did that hit you? It's really more on something like having somebody by, like, have your back. You know what I'm saying? Like, I could literally stay around the bros all day and fuck somebody else because I feel like the bros got my back or somebody got my back. But <clears throat> it's more so of, like, when you become a man and you, like, separate yourself from the bros, you want to be the foundation of something. Mm -hmm. That's how I feel like. I really ain't too deep on love with females. Mm -hmm. Not right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, I fuck with you, I fuck with you, but... I can deal with you and I love you. Is it, is it? So you guys heard what little Baby had to say. How would you feel if your significant other, if however long y'all been together, went on an interview and said some things like this? You would feel highly disrespected, disappointed, and you would just be sad. Like, shouldn't your significant other should not be saying things like that, especially if you love this person and you think that they love you, but in actuality, this is how they feel. So anyways, Jada tweeted about it. And a couple of days after that, Jada tweeted that she was single and she also mentioned she was moving out in the Instagram. Jada says, stop trying to piece together this man interviews, songs, etc. because we're no longer in a relationship. We're also not beefing, so please stop with the negativity. There's no bad, bad blood on my end. And the main focus right now is that we have a one-year-old to raise. That's it. That's all. So basically, Jada called it quits after that because, hey, I would call it quits too. My man not about to be getting on the internet saying, oh, I don't really love my girlfriend. Basically, and saying stuff that's just pointing towards that. And she said, hey, she's single. And in her Instagram live, she was talking about how she moved out and how she was staying with her mother. So that's really it for the video, guys. I'm going to play the live at the end. And I just want to make sure you guys, well, I want to thank you guys for watching. Also, make sure you like, share, subscribe, and also hit the notification bell. They will get notified every time I post. And again, thanks for watching. Thanks. I'm excited. It's nice as fuck. That's all I'm gonna say. I fixed my frontal and look, it still look a fucking mess like yesterday. No, I've been staying at my mama's house for a week now. <laughs> but it feels like I've been staying here for fucking two years. I swear to God. I hate it here. I get to do my YouTube room, my closet, get all my bags. Um, I just, I'm excited to get all my shit out of storage. Yes. I need to be getting dressed up. I really got a lot of shit to do. My bones. Y'all hear my bones? Do y'all hear that? Baby, I hope no boy got these motherfucking hips in this ass. What you saying? Huh? Boy body. Baby, where? <laughs> I'm just kidding. You loving it? Thank you. But my bones is like popping. That's not. 
put your right hand and put your left hand on top. Ma, 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 ma. Now I move. I don't stay in Atlanta no more. I don't live in Atlanta. I moved out of town. I'm back in Savannah. wear these shorts these biker shorts and my boots my other boots or y'all think that's like a bit much <laughs> i might be cold i might be too cold Now, I'm going to put some pants on. They ain't about to be talking about me, baby. Let me go change my pants real quick. Because I got... I always wear my slides. Y'all, all my stuff at my new house. So, I only got... Oh, somebody's at the door. Oh, I'm trying to dog is so deaf. Oh, that's my stuff I ordered. The dog deaf child, he don't be knowing when people at the door. He know he used to bark. He don't even be barking no more. This is just too much. Po dog. He deaf and blind. He deaf and fucking blind. Po dog. He done got so old. Right. That's sad. Mozzie in Savannah. Oh, fuck. I just told y'all I moved to Savannah. Mozzie, he round the corner, child. The dog ain't even bark when the people not at the door. What kind of... You're, you're useless. He need to go ahead and... Go back to Savannah, too. He's worked his ass. Lay him down. He's suffering. I don't think he's suffering now. Cause he still, he still be bothering my child. So he ain't suffering. Oh, fuck my phone about to die. Hold on, y'all. Oh, where? I, you know what? I'm so sick of living like this, y'all. I swear to God. I can't wait to get my shit. For real. Ain't got no motherfucking clothes. No shoes. I feel like a fucking hobo. I swear to God. And this be, I'd be like my escape to go back like a fucking regular person and not having a life that's in shambles. I just forgot everything I had to do with talking to y'all. Child, we about to go back out of town and catch a vibe. Fuck all this Atlanta shit. Thanks. I'm excited. It's nice as fuck. That's all I'm going to say. I fixed my front and look, it still look a fucking mess. Like yesterday. No, I've been staying at my mama's house for a week now. <laughs> but it feels like I've been staying here for fucking two years. I swear to God. I hate it here. I get to do my YouTube room, my closet, get all my bags. Um, I just, I'm excited to get all my shit out of storage. Yes. I need to be getting dressed up. I really got a lot of shit to do. My bones. Y'all hear my bones? Do y'all hear that? Oh, 
Baby, I hope no boy got these motherfucking hips in this 